a new political dawn for Spain. 46-year-old former economics professor Pedro Sánchez is now the country's new prime minister. I am aware of the responsibility that I assume in such a complex political moment in our country and what I can say is that, apart from being totally aware of it, I am going to face all our country's challenges with humility and commitment and, above all, with a lot of determination. First, to transform and modernize our country, which is what the Socialist Party has always done when we have been in the government, and secondly, to attend the urgent social matters of many people living in precarious conditions and suffering from inequality. I am going to do it with consensus, with humility, hard work and commitment. The head of the Socialist Party pushed for Friday's no confidence motion and won by a large margin. MPs from six different parties voted overwhelmingly to oust Mariano Rajoy and his centre-right People's Party from office. Ahead of the vote, Rajoy apologised for his party's past mistakes. It has been an honor to be the Prime Minister of Spain. It has been an honor to leave behind a better Spain than the one that I found when I took over government. I wish my substitute will be able to say the same. I think I have improved the well-being of the people of Spain, if anyone has been offended by my actions. I thank everyone, especially my party, without whom none of this would be possible. Thank you to all Spaniards for their support and understanding, and good luck to all of you and to Spain. The vote follows a long-running corruption scandal involving leading members of Rajoy's party. He became the first prime minister in office to give evidence in a trial last year. Former People's Party treasurer Luis Barcenas was among 29 people convicted on corruption charges. He was once a close ally of Rajoy. He was given a 33-year jail sentence and fined $51 million. The People's Party was also ordered to pay back $295,000, but Rajoy has remained defiant, accusing Sanchez of political opportunism. Spain's new prime minister will have to unite the country's fractured parliament, who will be the leader of a minority government and need the support of rival political parties to pass crucial legislation. Sanchez inherits a troubled economy and political instability over the future of Catalonia, where the independence movement remains strong. He's also under pressure from other parties to call new elections as soon as possible. Sanchez is now Spain's seventh prime minister since its return to democracy in the 1970s. But his hold on power faces immediate challenges. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Madrid.